Alrighty, before I play this video, so many people out there, especially, you know, black women, older black men, they have said that the parties switched way back when. Democrats and Republicans, they switched. They also said that Joe Biden's not racist. Maybe he was back in the day, but he couldn't be in this day and age because he has the most diverse cabinet in U.S. history. That's what they say. He's also put in more black judges than any other president in U.S. history. That's what they say. But this right here is an example of exactly who President Joe Biden is. Let's check this out. And we are going to uh, have a little commentary as this thing goes. So as you can see here, uh, President Biden is, I think, taking selfies, you know, with some people. We got a, you know, nice uh, young white gentleman there. As you can see, the sister gets overlooked. Look at the look on her face. She gets overlooked. She doesn't look happy. She looks sad. Um, that's so unfortunate because she's there with a the Biden-Harris poster. You'll see the Biden-Harris poster. And I don't know what she said or what was said to her. I have no idea. But you see the lady behind, he, he, she, gets, she gets a hug. She taps him. She tapped him on and, and asked, I guess maybe can I get a photo or, or a hug or something? I don't know. But right then and there, I think that's when she realized, like, wow, this guy is not who we thought he was. <laughs> it's sad, man. And you ain't black. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and clean and nice looking guy. Biden recalling his early Senate career, bringing up two segregationist senators, Herman Talmadge and James Eastland, who called African Americans an inferior race. I was in a caucus with James O. Eastland, Biden said. He never never called me boy, he always called me son. At least there was some civility, we got things done. The senators that he is speaking of with such adoration are individuals who made and built their reputation on segregation. The Ku Klux Klan celebrated the election of one of them. Using the word boy in the way he did uh, can cause hurt and pain and we need a presidential nominee and leader of our party to be sensitive to that. My Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this. I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black. Other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. <laughs> I was also known to Robert C. Byrd was a parliamentary library, a keeper of the institution of the Senate, and he was the institution itself. For a lot of us, he was a friend. He was a mentor and he was a guy. 1987, he bragged about getting an award from George Wallace. Biden bragged about an award from the notorious segregationist Governor George Wallace and told the Philadelphia Inquirer, I think the Democratic Party could stand a liberal George Wallace, someone who's not afraid to stand up and offend people. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. They're going to put y'all back in chains. Biden was remarking to an audience in South Virginia that included hundreds of black voters. Hey, if Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole but lot. The reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. One thing Biden is being slammed for is the crime bill he helped write 25 years ago. Mm. So I don't understand for the life of me why people continue to support this guy. I don't understand for the life of me why black people are supporting this guy. Last time around, they supported this guy at over 90 percent. Now, we definitely know that will not be the case this time around, but. We do know that black women are going to continue to support this guy. Even after this clip right here, they'll, there will be the Simone Sanders. There will be the Kamala Harris's. There will be the Joy Reeds. They'll be out there defending this behavior. 
they'll be out there defending why he did not take a selfie or, or even shake this young lady's hand. He flat out ignored her. They'll jump out there and they'll defend this. I don't know how they're going to spin it, but they'll figure a way to spin it. And then next thing you know, the talking points will go out and everybody will say the exact same things over and over again. But this is sad because this is a young lady, obviously, uh, who supports this administration. But this administration obviously does not care or support people that look like her. Now, what we do know is, is that every major metropolitan in America is liberal led. And typically, majority of your black folks are going to live in these types of cities. And they're some of the most dangerous places. The schools are some of the some of the least funded. And the communities are over policed or maybe police just enough because there's tons of crime that runs rampant in these cities and it's a mess. And these people have zero incentive on changing anything, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section, like share, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment down below, consider joining the ARP family. It supports me. It supports the team. It supports this channel, gives me the ability to push this type of content out to you on a day-to-day -day basis. Appreciate each and every person that has joined the team thus far. Keep God first in your life. Stay prayed up. And I'm going to catch up with you all next time. Peace.